Hey y'all, let's take a look at what is called symbols of inclusion. Inclusion means you include something, okay? And we know that four plus three times two can be, well, we, we, we know when it's that setup that you do the three times two first, right, which is six. Then you'll add the six to the four, which gives you 10. You don't just go four plus three is seven times two, 14. No, multiplication goes first. That's the order of operations, okay? Just to be aware of this, this can also be written with parentheses, you can kind of, in, you know, symbols of inclusion means you're clumping stuff together really clearly. All right, you can also write it with brackets like this. You can write it with, uh, ooh, kind of fancy looking brackets there, okay? And a lot of times they'll take turns on these so you don't get some equation that looks like, you know, you know, 68 sets of brackets like this, you know, the same shape. You can also write it like this. You hardly ever see it like that, though. Okay, um, let's do an example. So pause and copy. All right, these symbols of inclusion are known as, of course, parentheses, okay? So we know in the order of operations we did last, or a couple of times ago, that PE is, those are the first two. So parentheses are first, all right? Doesn't matter if it's addition in the parentheses, you do those first, okay? So definitely, I, I wanna plead with you and encourage you and shower you with riches and Chick-fil-A coupons to write several steps. Don't try to be a hero and do this all in one thing and go back and go, oh no, I got the wrong answer. It has negative five, and they say the answer is 7,253. How did I get that? I don't know, I didn't write my steps down, so I have no idea. So you do it all over, and then you don't, don't have enough time to practice your you know, violin, and then that spot in the you know, Royal Philharmonic Orchestra goes to somebody else, and you miss out on, on a brilliant musical career just because you wouldn't write down a couple of extra steps and the Saxon algebra. I've seen it happen time and again. Okay, well, let's try it. Parentheses first. So we're gonna go like this. This is what I would do. I'd go, okay, this is three times seven minus four times seven minus three is four. Okay, there we go, all right? So then I would go, okay, three times seven, 21, minus 16. And 21 minus 16 is just simply five. There we go, that's all you need to do, all right? Another one, pause and copy. Okay, a little bit longer, we don't care. We just do the same thing a couple of more times and we're done, all right? So again, I would not get caught up in all this trying to do that once. Just go ahead and copy your negative four down and let's work on this first, okay? Well, what is three minus six, okay? You should know at this point that that is negative three. Negative three plus five is a two, there you go. Minus seven, let's go ahead and do two plus three is five, we know that, and then minus six, okay. We know our order of operations is to multiply. Okay, then we do all the other stuff. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do it. Negative four times two, negative eight. Okay, and negative seven times positive five is negative 35. All right, and minus six, this is just what it is, okay? You can look at these three numbers, you know, it's you're adding three negatives. So you don't even have to worry, but you know the answer is gonna be negative, so you can just go, not there. Okay, all you need to do is go, put eight plus 35, 43. 43 plus six is 49, negative 49, done and done. Okay, all right, let's try this one. Pause and copy, and copy, and copy, and copy, and copy, and I'll never make the fill up. Oh, I had a great career. Okay, anyway, all right. Well, it's the same thing. There's nothing different, it's just more of them. Well, let's do it. Let's go left to right then. All right, we got negative three, I'm leaving it. What is negative four minus four? Don't say zero. It's negative eight. Okay, all right, they're the same sign. You ignore it and add the absolute values, eight, and then give it the negative. Okay, then we have a negative three minus two, which gives you negative five. Fill our mind, fill our mind. Okay, the minus, just, just copy it from there. Negative two minus three, negative five plus four times two minus three is negative one. There, now that's nice and neat. That's half the size, and you've greatly reduced your possibility of, of, doing, of having errors, okay? Well, this is all one big honking multiplication problem, right? So, you know, you can you know, move, move over here a little bit and do the multiplication if you want to, you know, just on paper. Um, Let's just do it. I mean, you could do this first. It doesn't matter what order it is. So a negative eight times a negative five is a positive 40, right? Okay, well, let's just write it. Who cares? 
negative three times positive forty. Okay, well, we could go like this. What's the opposite of negative five? That's gonna be positive five. Okay, let's go, what's positive four times negative one, negative four. There we go. Okay, well, negative three times 40 is gonna be a negative, right? Three times four is 12, so that's gonna be 120. And we can go plus five and minus four. Well, you know, five minus four, that's pretty easy. That's just one. So a negative 120 plus one is a negative 119. There we go. Okay, all right, let's try this one. Oh, holy smoke. Now we got multiplication and division, right? Because uh, a fraction is a division problem. Every fraction is a division problem. So yoink, there we go. Pause and copy. Okay, well, I, you know, uh, there's nothing unusual about this. We just do this, let's just take care of the numerator first and get some number. And then we'll take care of the denominator and get some number. And if we can reduce it, we'll reduce it. If we can't, we'll just go back to practicing violin. Okay, well, let's do the top first, all right? Keep the five. Negative five plus three is? Negative two, yep. And I got a plus seven. Negative five plus nine? Four plus two. Hang on, let's just stick with this for a second. Finish it up. Five times negative two? Negative 10. S positive seven times four? 28. Uh, plus two, there we go, okay. So I have a negative 10 plus 28 plus two, and all I would do if I were you is go uh, 28 plus two is 30, right? 30 minus 10 is 20. So we have 20 for the numerator, boom. All right, let's try the denominator. Let's get an exciting new color here. It's been a while since we've done purple, okay? Parentheses first, that's gonna be two, right? Plus three, plus five, that's a piece of cake. The answer is 10. 20 divided by 10 is 2010. No, it's not, it's just two. Okay, there we go. Piece of cake. Once you know how to do one of these things, you just do it three or four times and you're done. There's nothing new to it. Okay, all right. Whew, look at that one. Bunch of minus signs. Pause and copy. Okay, let's just do the numerator again first. Let's take care of that and get it out of the way. So I would go like this, negative three, and then I'd go, okay, four minus two, two. And then you could go ahead and go. What is the opposite of negative five? And the answer is five, okay? Well, negative three times two is negative six. And negative six plus five is negative one. And there's your numerator, all right? Let's do the denominator. Well, I, you know, four times three times negative seven. Let's just go ahead and do that part first, right? Okay, well, that's gonna be four minus. Okay, well, what is three times negative seven? Negative 21, right? You can write it like that with parentheses around it. Okay, well, four plus, or excuse me, four minus negative 21 is the same thing as four plus 21, right? Four plus 21 is 25. You can just leave it like that if you want to. No big deal. Okay. And if you know a negative divided by a positive is a negative, so you can apply that actually to the entire fraction if you want to. And there you go. Okay. All right. Good enough. Okay. Let's try the practice set and try. Go ahead and pause it and try A. Okay. A. Let's just go ahead and do the step by step. Negative three minus two is negative five. Don't say one or negative one. Okay, make sure you got that down, it's really important. Okay, negative four minus one is also negative five. Okay, make sure those are right. That's really critical that you can do that. Okay, negative five times negative five is positive five, uh, five. excuse me, positive 25. Negative times a negative is a positive. Okay, all right, pause it and try B. All right, the key is don't get all hung up with the negatives, just do exactly what you have right there, okay? Well, let's do parentheses first. We got ourselves a four there. And just go ahead and put the minus there from here. And let's just go ahead and go, okay, well, four minus six is negative two. Four minus a negative two is the same thing as four plus two. So it's gonna be six. There we go. All right, pause it and try C. A little bit longer, but no big deal. We just do the same thing, all right? I'm gonna take care of this first and that first, okay? I'm just gonna copy my negative five, 
all right? Negative three times negative three, excuse me, negative three minus negative three is negative six. And then I'm gonna copy my, copy my plus two, and then one minus three is negative two, okay? Well, all we gotta do is multiply. Negative five times a negative six is 30. And a positive two times a negative two is a negative four. Well, 30 minus four is 26, there we go, all right? All right, try D, that's the last one. Pause it and try it and come back. All right, no big whoop. Let's take, take a look at this real quick. Let's just do the numerator first, make it easy on ourselves here, okay? Numerator first. I'm just gonna go keep my negative three the way it is. Uh, 10 minus eight is two. I'm gonna go the opposite of negative four is just four, okay? Well, negative three times two is negative six, and I'm gonna add my four, and I'm gonna get negative two. That's my numerator. Okay, let's try the denominator. All right, denominator. And I'm just gonna copy down here. I got four, and let's go ahead and just go. Negative three times negative three is nine. Okay, four plus nine minus 13. Uh-oh, look at this. I got a four plus nine minus a 13. That's gonna be zero, okay? And the number defined by zero is, you got it, okay. All right, see you guys next time, y'all take care.